Okay, I got this uh, neat little case here from Harbor Freight. It's uh, an Apache 2800 Rugged Mobility. It's supposed to be like a Pelican case. I don't know if you're familiar with Pelican, but they make some pretty good plastic cases that are very rugged. Usually used for photography equipment, guns, and etc. Um, this isn't a bad case. It's not quite as good quality feels in the Pelican case, but I think it'll do for my purposes. Um, it has the foam inside, the pick apart foam, so you can custom make it to anything you want to fit in there. It does have a purge valve. It's not automatic like the Pelicans. You have to twist it and close it to uh, engage it. Um, it has like good handles or good uh, latches that depress the seal when you latch them down. It has a, a fairly decent handle. Uh, it's held in place with metal pins right, right there and right there. It's got these metal uh, covers to put a padlock through, I guess, on both sides, which is pretty cool. I guess you can really secure this thing pretty good if you wanted to. Uh, the hinge on the back looks like it has metal pins that go in from this direction. With a uh, pretty fairly rugged. There's a little imperfection there. I guess that's where the ejection mold is, probably. So let's see. The reason I bought this case was for a uh, CPAP machine, um, a Phillips Respironics. I like to do a lot of outdoor type stuff, kayaking, camping, whatnot. And I'm always nervous bringing my CPAP machine um, and having something happen to it because the case that it comes with is, well, it's fabric and uh, it's basically garbage. It's nothing like this. So uh, let's see if it fits. There's the foam. As you can see, it's the pick apart, and so it's like little cubes, and they're perforated, which is a little bit joining, so you can take it apart and custom fit it. But I don't think I'm going to need the foam because the CPAP is going to take up most of the case anyway. So let's put the foam aside here. Two layers, inch and a half thick, and this is probably like the bottom layer. I don't think I'm going to need that either, so I'll set that right there. So first, let's see if the CPAP it's machine itself will fit. I'm not even sure if the cover will close. Let's see. Oh, look at that. I can see that, but it fits nicely. A little depressed there when the that's fine. The foam the foam hits this part, but that's that's good. It just kind of keeps it safe. So now the real test, let's see if the rest of the components of the CPAP machine will fit. So I have the power power adapter right here. Um, I got the cord out of it right now. This is a, I think it's a 12 volt? I don't know what it is. It, it, it fits the CPAP machine anyway. So I guess that'll go right there. Coil that up. Put that right down in there. That cord can go down in. Here's the other half of the cord. I guess that could fit right here as well. Um, I have the part that goes on your head. I'll just stuff that right down in there. And finally, the little part that goes on your nose. Put that right there. And that purge valve thing, I'm not going to have the nose piece hit that purge valve. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but there's a little metal sharp piece of metal there, so I don't want this hitting that sharp piece of metal. So I'll just uh, switch things around a little bit here. Put this over in the corner. I think it'll be fine. Now, the more difficult part, the hose. This thing is just a pain to deal with. It doesn't matter what kind of case you have. If I can find a way to get away with this up using this thing, I would. But, I need it, so here I am. That can go like that. I wonder if this can wrap around. Oh, yeah, that might just work. So, the hose is springy. It's got like a metal, I think there's metal or something inside this hose. It just makes it so that it stays uh, 
it can't, it can't be pinched shut when you're sleeping, so you don't uh, cut off your air supply by accident. But that makes it really hard to just get it to stay in one position. So I think what I'm going to have to do is just kind of hold it and just shut the case and kind of pull my hand out. And there we go. It's it's a little tight. I won't lie. But that's because the foam that's in the cover is, is pressing down on all that hose and stuff. So it fits. That's a win. Um, barely fits, but that's good. That means I bought the most efficient case, I guess you could say. So let's shake it. Oh, no shaking. Nothing's going to rattle in there. I guess that's a good thing. So that's a win. Um, so if you have a CPAP machine like mine and you're looking for an inexpensive case to hold it and keep it, you know, relatively safe from shock and uh, mostly it should be water resistant if not waterproof. Definitely, you know, splash resistant if you're taking your CPAP canoeing or kayaking or, or just, you know, car camping and you want to keep it you want to stack stuff on top of it or, or uh, you know, just throw it in your trunk and not worry about it, this is probably a good case for you. Um, it retails for, for about $30 at Harbor Freight. I had a coupon that brought it down to $23, and so it was about $25 out the door after taxes. And of course, you get your free items, so I got some batteries with it. So, uh, yeah, I hope this uh, video helps you if you have a... Uh, a CPAP machine and you're looking for a decent case for it. Have a nice day.